So here is the update on the newly released photos for Black Widow and Hawkeye SH figure arts, the two Tamashi nations we have been expecting after the image we saw previously. And this pretty much completes the original Avengers team in all their looks from the four movies. The Black Widow seems to be another great figure, great head sculpt, and of course better than the previous ones in my opinion. And finally we're going to get one with the short red hair better than the Age of Ultron version. So it's the classic look with the usual look of the guns, the holsters, and this time of course with the Agents of the Shield logo on the arms. And the other accessory revealed is the blade she used in the end battle to shut down the portal. And it seems as though there's a different face sculpt in this shot, which is also a different hairstyle. So there's a bit more variety and Tamashi haven't always given us that much in the face sculpt. So hopefully this will be different. And it will be the fifth Black Widow figure in this line in terms of the likeness. This may be the best SHF to date once it's released in October. Then it's Hawkeye, which is a look that's quite different to the previous releases as well. To me, the Age of Ultron and Endgame versions were quite similar. And this, of course, has the sleeveless look. The face sculpt seems to be a new version as well. And we get the alternative head with the sunglasses, which is a bonus. And the usual accessories we are familiar with, like the bow, the arrow, the quiver. And this time we actually get the arrow on its own. In the past, they've always attached it to the bow. So this is, again, something new. And here's the memorable shootout scene where they mention Budapest. So these figures will be paired up really nicely together. And here's another look at the full team from the Avengers final battle scene. And one of the most iconic scenes in the MCU, probably alongside the Endgame final battle and Iron Man snap. So how excited are you for the reveals? To me, these are great additions to the SH Figure Arts MCU line, more so than the Hulk cap and the Iron Man releases they did recently. So Bandai are really mixing up with the new and old MCU, with of course the Shang-Chi announcement as well today. And you can check out my last video if you want to see the news on that. And the other leaks we have is a Fission figure. So finally, this character has come to the SH Figure Arts. Of course, we're still waiting for the official photos, but they do have the normal version as well as the Spectrum version. So maybe this will be a Wonder Vision line. And of course, if you're into the Fighting Armor Avengers, they also announced a Iron Man. And for DC, McFarlane unveiled some Suicide Squad figures. So the MCU Infinity Saga is almost complete and we look forward to the next phases. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.